Hello everyone, Henry here. How are you? Okay, we frequently get a lot of customers, you know, ask us why your knife is better, right? What is a good knife? What is a bad knife? It's a very good question, very common question. Today we talk about it. Um, good knife, you must have good material, good heat treatment, you know, good design, and good blade smiths, you know, know how to sharp them. So knife steel is the foundation of good knife. Uh, you know, there's thousands of materials in the market. Today we talk about the popular ones, okay? I divided them into four groups, entry level, um, middle, high, and primer. How about that, okay? Entry level, the most popular one, which used by many manufacturers, uh, you know, is 420. 420 is popular, many years, the nice steel flatware use it, and uh, kitchen knife, you know, a lot of affordable kitchen knife brand use it. Sure, some of them they never talk about that because it's affordable, right? But it's the it's a soft material, easy to maintain, you know, easy to use, but easy to wear off. So that's the thing. You pay what you get. Uh, the middle middle one, the popular one is uh, 1.4116 German steel. Some manufacturer, you know, talk about German steel, German steel, German steel has thousands of different kind of German steels, right? 1.4116 is a good one, popular one used by Hinko with of us. Uh, it's good steel, reasonable hardness, 56, 58. Uh, if you give reasonable maintain, you can use it many years. It's good steel. Then high level, high level, the popular one like VG10, like AUS8, AUS10, 440, and uh, 14C28N. You know, all these are good steels. It's better than. The 1.4116, you know, you can, the, the initial sharpness is better, the hardness is around two degrees higher, and the edge retention is much, much better. And also, you know, because they have some of them, you know, like our 14C28N, because they have special metallurgy, you know, the microstructure is so fine, you know, so that's why they can keep the edge uh, much longer. You know, they are, they are good steel. The premium level, you know, um, is rare, you know, because it's so high, so expensive, so not so popular. But they are ultimate weapon for the, you know, professional chefs or home cook jigs, you know, whatever you call that. They are harder for sure, like over sixty, and they have a high carbon. They keep the edge much much longer than all other three, but they are expensive. And also, you must know how to maintain them. Uh, if you put in the thing, you know, for a couple of days or dishwash them, you know, you will wasting your money. You abuse the knives, the beautiful good knives sharpened by the blacksmiths, and you abuse them. What a pity, right? We don't want to do that. So you see, from the entry to premier, you know, different levels. Nothing right or wrong. It's the price you pay. But I encourage you as a knife maker, I really encourage you buy a little higher price tag, good knives, you know, and then maintain them, give, give a reasonable maintenance. Um, you can use many years, you don't need to change the knife every year, right? It's kind of, you know, wasting and uh, we want, you know, protect this mother earth. So if you have any questions, uh, you know, let me know, uh, put the comments below. I will be happy to answer. Next couple of series, we will talk more about how you know to make a good knife. Today we talk about the steel, then we will talk about heat treatment, the design, and the sharpening knife. Thank you and take care.